Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different, something I've been requested for quite some time now, and we're finally going to dive into Eric Clapton. I did get the song recommended the most. A little bit nervous of it as I I know I can get very empathetic with music. I feel it all over, so I know this one might be a little bit difficult as I did see here in the video description that the song is written about Eric's son who passed away in a very tragic accident when he was very, very young, when he was just a small child. So I already I have no idea what to go into, but just knowing that alone, I know that this is going to be very deep. So we're just going to all feel all of this together. And I really, really can't wait to appreciate as I've heard the name Eric Clapton my entire life. And I feel incredibly guilty that I have never really dissected his music and really educated myself on, you know, the classic musicians that everyone is, you know, well praised and well aware of. So we're changing that today. But I uh, I know I'm rambling, but let's get started with today's video. If you do enjoy this content, though, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on it. And please let me know which other Eric Clapton songs you would like me to listen to next in the description below. But thank you for all of that, all that love and support. But without further ado, let's get started with today's video. I gotta pause and I gotta do a momentary pauses, but oh, that first line, um, would you know my name if you saw me in heaven? And that it's especially deep knowing that this is written about his son. It, it had a little snippet in the description. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming um, he, he lost his son at four years old. It said that he fell out of a window, a very incredibly heart-wrenching, tragic accident. And hearing that line, it just almost sounds like he feels a little bit guilty about it. Like, uh, Will you remember me? I know his son was little, so the, the idea of him feeling that is just so incredibly heartbreaking. Um, I'm gonna go back a little. I, I'm so sorry about the pauses, but you know some of these videos get blocked, and I, I just really want to be safe. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm already, I'm already a thousand percent invested. This is just so coming. It's so heartfelt, incredibly heartfelt, and I feel all of that emotion and pain in his, you know, just the strings of his guitar and his voice. Um, but wow. Um, we're gonna go back just a little, just so I don't mess with that flow. But let's continue. <music> Would you help me stand? If I saw you in heaven, 
just look at the end. <laughs> Knowing uh, the context of that, sorry, just and I also I I sorry for apologizing constantly for my emotions. Um. Knowing what the song is about makes it so much more heart-wrenching seeing his face at the end. Even that little acoustic guitar solo, it felt like his guitar was crying. And hmm, I know the uh, the background. I don't know if it was uh, the story, if it was from a movie or something, or if it was part of the video. You know, it seemed like there was, uh, it seems like a couple. Uh, the way I put it, um, in, in reference to what the song was supposed to be was, you know, two people who, you know, lost a child or are going through some sort of hardship and are just kind of like, you know, grieving. I know that's a huge thing that can uh, affect people is the loss of a child. Number one thing in the world that, you know, causes uh, so much depression and heartbreak and, and, and divorces and issues with, you know, relationships is, is the loss of a child. But I feel like, you know, the way he was saying things like, well, you remember me and will you hold me up? Will you hold my hand? Will it be the same? And it's just, it's just really hard knowing what happened and I feel I feel for him and I feel so horrible that he had to experience that um let me collect myself I'm so sorry for crying all the time I just feel things constantly and I'm incredibly empathetic so sometimes when I see something like this I just it just, it just destroys me because I wish I could you know take away everyone who's hurting I just wish I could take everyone's pain away and I know that's not possible but you know I, I feel things very deeply so some of these things really affect me really hard so uh Oh, wow. Um, no wonder you guys really wanted me to hear this. This was so incredibly beautiful. It felt like a lullaby, like he was singing it to his son. And it's just, it, it destroys you. It destroys you to your core. And I, I really needed to feel all of these feelings. So thank you so much for showing me this. I want to dissect this a little bit further. So yeah, let's, let's just dive into it. After watching this, I'm a little disappointed in myself that I didn't listen to Eric Clapton sooner. Of course, I've heard this name be talked about so many times in music. Everyone knows him as one of the greatest of all time. And I am honestly just kicking myself in the foot for not listening to his music, not appreciating him a lot sooner. I am way long overdue, but you know, all I can do is it's better late than never. Now I can really dissect him and just go into this rabbit hole of all of his music because I know he has a lot. And please, please, please tell me which one you'd like me to hear next. But after this video, I am already a fan. I'm already invested. The way that you know, he connected with the audience, the way he connected with the song, the way it was just, you know, from his heart completely, you felt the emotion, you felt the sadness in his eyes, in his playing. The guitar, I felt like it was crying. Like I mentioned, I felt like it was wailing at the end. And then that last verse, the way he ends it, and he's just kind of like looking down and, and all of this sadness is just piercing through, you know, the screen and it really affects you in the worst way. You feel all of that pain just being transferred over to you and you just feel like, you wish you could have done something. You feel this anger. You feel so upset that he had to go through something like this. You know, a life, an innocent small life was lost. And it's it's just, it's so tragic. It's so ugly. It's so horrible. And I am so incredibly gutted that he had to deal with this. I can't even begin to imagine how that must feel. And I feel for anyone who has ever lost someone like this, lost a child, because that must be just, you know, the absolute worst possible thing that could ever happen in anyone's life. So my heart really truly goes out to you if you listen to this song and it resonates with you or if you've ever lost somebody. I started reading through the comments of this video and I just, you know, was sad for everyone. But also I feel like this gave them a sort of comfort and made them feel not alone. A lot of people talking about their experiences of losing parents, losing, you know, partners. And I, I'm really sad for them. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that Eric was able to, you know, put his emotions on paper and, and sing this for us and really help other people deal with their own uh, loss and grief and that was just it, it was done so beautifully peacefully and it really just you know connected it connects to you and you feel every single thing every string that is strummed on that guitar you felt every single note and it was just it was beautifully sad and poetic and I I, I felt it all. I felt it all completely. And I really do appreciate you guys for showing me, Eric. And uh, trust me, I'm going to do a lot more. I'm really, really, uh, weirdly, it's weird to say excited for this. You know, I know I, I feel like this is going to be a very emotional journey, as I could tell he is someone who really, you know, plays music through the heart, not just because, you know, he, he plays it with a lot of intention and passion. So I know whatever story he's he's going to tell me and sing to me, I'm going to really connect and and feel all of these emotions shine through. So Thank you again for that. I really do appreciate all the love and support on this week back. I know I just moved to a new place, so I'm so sorry about all of the 
weird getting settled in, but I am back and I'm ready and I'm excited to listen to more music to you, oh, with you guys. So thank you for all of that love. Let me know which other songs you want me to hear in the description below. Let me know how this song helped you. I would really love to hear all of y'all's experiences as well. And then if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. You never miss my videos ever again. I'll be back tomorrow with some more music, but if you want to hang out in the meantime, I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to get to know you guys a little bit better. We do talk a lot about music, mental health. We are very uh, close-knit over there as well. But other than that, I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And on the next one, I'll see you very soon. Bye.